click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's topic we are going to study a comparison between the fluid film lubrication and the extreme pressure lubrication. Both of these lubrication are the mechanisms in which we use to lubricate the machine parts. Now there are various machine parts we need lubrication for and we can use various lubrication methods with various lubricating oils. Let us see both of them in detail in today's session. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study and compare two of the most important lubricating methods that is fluid film lubrication and extreme pressure lubrication. Now what exactly is fluid film or extreme pressure lubrication? Those are lubricating methods also known as lubricating mechanisms. Those are the ways in which we can lubricate our machine parts. So whenever we are using a machine or a machine part, we need to make sure that the lubrication is done by a particular oil or a particular lubricant in a particular way. We'll study both of these in detail in today's session. The first one we have is a fluid film lubrication or thick film. It is also known as hydrodynamic lubrication. It has three names over here. The first is fluid film. The second is thick film and the third is hydrodynamic. So what exactly do we do over here in the fluid film mechanism? We have a machine part. For example, this is a machine part and the second machine part is this. So if this machine part is moving from one side to another side, there are high chances of this giving a friction to the surface. So because this is giving friction to the surface, what we can do is we can put a film of a lubricating layer. This film is known as fluid film or thick film, thick film of any lubricant. So this can be grease, this can be oil. Generally the lubricants which we use over here are semi-solid in nature because we have to put a film of the lubricants on the surface. And because of that, whenever this part will move on this part of it, this part will not touch this part at all and it will touch the lubricating oils. The lubricating oils on the part of the machine should not be very liquidy. If they are liquidy, they may just spill off and if they are spilling off, then they may actually disrupt the entire machine. This mechanism for lubrication is useful for machines where the load is low. The load has to be low and the speed is also not very high. If I have a high load, then this may not work. If the speed is very high, that means this machine part, if this is my machine part, which is moving at a very high speed, then the lubricants which are present on this machine part will start spilling off and if they are spilling off then they will cause a damage to the entire machine. The next over here is my extreme pressure lubrication. This mechanism for lubrication is useful for machines where the load and the speed both are high. Over here we do not make films of it. We just spray on the lubricants which are there. These lubricants are specially used for machines which are under extreme pressure which are under extreme load. So where, what is my extreme load? The load of the machine as compared to the speed which is high and also the temperature which is high. In this liquid lubricant with high viscosity, now what do we mean by viscosity? Viscosity is nothing but thickness. Is applied as film on the machine, surfaces in contact. So now what happens over here? In this fluid film mechanism, what we'll use are the lubricants with high viscosity. That means their density should be high, their thickness should be high. They should not be liquidy. They should be semi-solid. Now, if they are semi-solid, that means their thickness will be high. And because the thickness is high, we can easily spread them off on the machine. Once they have been spread off on the machine, they will stick to the machine part and they will not spill away. Now we have to make sure that this viscosity of that particular lubricant should also be high at higher temperatures as well. That means if our machine is going to higher temperatures, then the viscosity of that should be high at that temperatures as well. There are certain lubricants which are semi-solid at room temperatures, but as the machine temperature rises, that means as the heat energy in the machine rises, that lubricant absorbs the heat energy from the surrounding and changes its state. Now what do we mean by change of state? It is already a semi-solid in nature. After getting heat, it will get converted into a liquid state. If I have applied that lubricating substance on the machine part and after some point of time, that lubricating substance 
attains energy, absorbs energy and starts spilling from everywhere. That means that it will start affecting the machine part as well as the other machine parts which are besides it. If there is certain kind of product besides this, for example, this lubrication is used for a paper industry, then the spilling of lubricants can also go and touch the products which are the papers. That means they will stain the papers and the entire products will get wasted. That is the reason why the viscosity of the lubricants which are present inside the machine should remain viscous. That means should remain in their density and thickness even at high temperatures. Over here, the thickness of a film is given approximately equal to 1000 amperes. In this mineral oils, with special additives are used. Now, what are additives? Additives are the promoters of the lubricants. Additives are those substances which when added to my lubricants, they will enhance the properties of the lubricants. That means if there are lubricants with certain lubricating properties. If we add certain additives to these, these additives will mix with the lubricants and make sure that the lubricants have enhanced properties now. These additives are being added in the extreme pressure lubrication. Additives improve specific properties of the lubricants. Now that additives depend on us. If I want the stickiness of the lubricant to be more, so if I am adding certain additives to my lubricants, I will make sure that certain properties of the lubricants increase. For example, if I am adding an additive, for the oiliness of the lubricant, I want the lubricant to be more oily in nature. Then I will add those additives inside the oil and make sure that that oil is more oily in nature. Depending upon what kind of properties of my lubricant I want to enhance, I will add those additives in it. Point number three, the coefficient of friction is lower to about 0.001 to 0.03. Whereas for unlubricated, it used to be 0.5 to 1.5. Now what do we mean by coefficient of friction? Coefficient of the friction is that value which denotes how much friction is happening. So for example, this is my machine part, this is my another machine part and this machine part is moving from here to here. Over here there is certain friction happening and that friction is now calculated. This calculation of the friction happening is known as coefficient of friction. The coefficient of friction of the unlubricated parts used to be between 0.5 to 1.5 and a coefficient of friction for now the lubricated parts that means for this machine if I add a thick film of lubricants and then I pass on this part over it the friction has now been reduced to 0.001 to 0.03. So for the unlubricated the friction was much higher which was 0.5 to 1.5. And after doing the lubrication process, it has now lowered to 0.001 to 0.03. Over here, the blending can be done to have almost nil friction. Now, nil means zero. That means if I add correct additives inside it, the additives will promote the enhancement of all the properties inside the lubricant. And because of that, we can try and attain zero friction. That means no friction at all between the machine parts. Become on surface. Metal forms temporary products with additives. That means the additives will be there for a temporary period of time. But for that temporary period of time, the friction will be zero. Example, chlorides, sulfates, etc. Point number four. Lubricant must have adequate viscosity and high viscosity index. Now what do we mean by viscosity? Viscosity is nothing but thickness of it. High thickness, high density is viscosity. The amount of thickness present in the oil or amount of density which is present in the oil is known as the viscosity of oil. And this viscosity is always measured with a viscosity index. Viscosity index is an index which helps us in measuring the viscosity. If the viscosity index has a higher value, that means the liquid or the lubricant which we are using is very viscous, it's very dense. If the viscosity index has a lower value, that means the lubricant which we are using does not have high viscosity, it has low viscosity, it is not very dense. For fluid film mechanism, we have to make sure that the viscosity is high and the viscosity index number is also high. This viscosity index number has to be high not only at normal room temperature but also at high temperatures because there are many various machines working at high temperatures as well. 
over here in this the lubricant with additives remains on surface of metal for long time and there is adherence due to the chemical reaction if i am using a lubricant and i am adding an additive to it i have to make sure the lubricant as well as the additive do not react to any part of the machine or any chemicals which are present in the machine because over here we are not only using the lubricant but we are also using an promoter over here which is known as an additive now over here the additive and the lubricant can make a great pair and work in pair with enhanced properties but we have to make sure not only at the normal temperature but also at high temperature these properties should be maintained if at high temperature the promoter gains certain amount of heat energy or the lubricating oil gains certain amount of energy and because of this energy they will start reacting with the materials present in the machine or the other additives or chemicals which are present around the machine then it will cause corrosion of the machine which is not desirable point number 5 it shows great impact of seasons as temperature affects viscosity temperature always affects viscosity viscosity is a state it's a physical state and each and every physical state is being affected by temperature a very simple example is water water at lower degree celsius that is negative degree celsius is generally ice when it comes to normal degree celsius it becomes water and above 100 it becomes steam similarly for all lubricating materials they will be at a certain state of viscosity at a certain temperature now we have to decide what amount of viscosity do we need at what temperature for our particular machine and whether that particular oil is maintaining that or not if it does then that particular oil is good for a machine if it does not we cannot do anything about it we'll have to replace the oil with some other lubricant seasonal impact is almost eliminated over here we do not have any seasonal impact because we are not using any physical properties of the oil for lubricating purposes we are using the chemical properties of it and those chemical properties are being enhanced with the addition of additives point number 6 examples over here can be sewing machines watches clocks etc the examples over here can be cutting tools cutting of rocks crushing machines wire drawing machines etc so if you see the examples we'll come to know that sewing machines watches or clocks all of these have low speed and low load but as compared to those the cutting tools the rock crushing tools the wire drawing tools all of them have high load and high speed so over here in today's session we compared between the fluid film mechanism for lubrication and the extreme pressure mechanism for lubrication we studied what both of them are we studied the process and we studied which is better than what we came to a conclusion that both of them work on different principles and depending upon our machine and our type of use we can use them separately thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda